Alright guys, we have a final deadline at midnight. Has everyone done their part? I've done mine. What about you guys? <coughs> of course, of course, yeah. Oh, okay. We have a group assignment. Huh? Huh? Vision! I did all of my part and what you guys want. Because all the research you guys did can use. Hey, I did help. Look, I did a lot of research. Yeah, me too. What do you mean? You call this a lot? Would I say I covered the whole project? No. But would other people say it? <laughs> Probably. I'm so responsible. Giving guidance and checking the assignment. Leadership is no joke, okay? Yikes. I thought we were hanging out as friends most of the time. Oh my god, the cat is so cute. What shall I eat today? People just don't appreciate the small contributions, you know? I made a lot of suggestions. <gasps> Guys. Hear me out. What if we use memes instead of citations? Oh my god, that's a great idea! What? Meanwhile... Damn, I really carried this project. What would they be without me? Yeah, we all work hard. But actually, I did the most. Wow, wow I did 90% and the leader only did one paragraph. Still want me to add more? <sighs> okay, if you guys think you guys did a lot, how about we check the word on history? Okay, yeah, bye! Sure. Huh? Okay, Must be a glitch. Try to, try to, try to. I think there must be a glitch. A few moments later. Okay, maybe I didn't do as much as I thought. Wait. <gasps> Egocentric bias! Wait, wait, wait. So, what actually happened? This phenomenon can be explained by egocentric bias, the tendency to value one's own contributions and opinions higher than those of others. To recap, each group member thought that they did a lot, but in reality, one person did most of the work while others overestimated their contributions because let's be real, means instead of citations, it's absurd, and simply dedicating tasks yet not doing anything else means nothing. In our video, egocentric bias only affected creative genius and overconfident leader. They truly believed that they did more than they actually did. Now, I pass it on to Rachel. So, why does this happen? According to Ross and Sikili, 1979, there are two key factors. First, differential retrieval. When you think of a group project, what do you remember first? Your own effort. We vividly recall our own contributions because we directly experienced it. Simply put, since our effort feels easier to remember, it feels more significant. Next is informational disparity. We have direct access to our own internal states and thoughts, but we don't see others' efforts unless they share them. We only see their final product, but not the entire process. So, we may overestimate our work Work and underestimate theirs because we never saw them in the first place. Ever experienced this? Well, you're not alone. Now, how does this show up in real life? Here's a funny and relatable example. Ramin 2020 also found proof that in almost every group project, people tend to think they contributed more than their teammates. And egocentric bias isn't just in group work, it's everywhere. This bias shows up on the road too. Even expert police drivers rate themselves higher than the equally qualified peers. So next time when you hear someone say, I'm a way better driver than everyone else, just know egocentric bias might be in the driver's seat. This bias also fights stock pickers, as they think the stocks they buy are more likely to win, believing their expertise and skills are above others, even if their stock says otherwise. So, what can we do? 1. Pause and reflect. Are you seeing the full picture or just your own work? 2. Check tasks. Use a shared tracker like Google Docs to keep everyone's work in check. As Helen Keller once said, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. Thank you. So, there's no peer evaluation, right?